Welcome back. Well, now that we've gone ahead and set up our domain and our hosting and got it all ready, we can go ahead and publish our website. Now, before we do that, I want to show you one more thing here. I'm going to go ahead and type in my username here and my password for my account. And you're going to see here's our main account screen. If you click on my account right here, it will take you to all of your products and services. And you can see here's your domain name. And under products here, you're going to see web hosting. If you click on that, your domain name should appear right here. And then if you click on launch right over here, a new window will open. But what I want to show you here is this is your admin username. This is going to be the name that you use to publish with Dreamweaver. And then your password is here and this is again whatever you chose before. If you've forgotten your hosting password you can click here and change it and update it. So again that's going to be the information that you're going to need your username and password in order to publish your website. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and bring up Dreamweaver. Okay here I am in Dreamweaver and you can see here's our sample project and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the very top where it says Shears Design Complete and I'm going to double click on that. It should bring you right here. Alternatively you can go to the site menu select Manage Sites, choose your site and edit and it'll bring you to the same place. Now where you want to go is servers right here and you can see I've already set up a server but I'm going to go ahead and delete that so we can start over. To set up a server, to, to set up your server so you can publish your website you're going to click on this little plus sign right here and first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter in a name and I'm going to type my GoDaddy hosting you can call it whatever you want. Under FTP address you're going to go ahead and type in your web address. And our sample was sample small business website. And then you'll enter in your username and the password that you chose. You're going to do one more thing. Under more options right here, click this little arrow. And then you're going to check use passive FTP. So once you've done that, once you put a name in, which can be anything at all, your domain name, including the www, but not including the HTTP, and then entered your username and password, you can click on test. And if you entered everything in successfully, it should say Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully. You can then click OK and save. You should see the name of your hosting account listed there. Click save again. And then if you double click to bring that up, this won't be here. But if you went up to site and manage, this will. Click done. Now, again, I'm going to come over here to the files panel. And you see there are all the files associated with my website and you're going to see I have the very top folder selected. And you're going to see two arrow buttons here and when I hover over them they say get and put. If you select get it will get all the files from the server. If you select put it will take all of your files that are locally here in your hard drive and put them to your server so that people can see them. So in order to publish your website you click this top folder and then you go ahead and click the put button right here. It's going to bring up a little dialog box. It's going to say are you sure you want to? Click OK and then you're going to see background activity here. And this may take just a little bit to do. I'm going to pause the video while these files upload. 
and there we have that dialog box has disappeared. I've now successfully published all of my files to the server. Again, if we come over here to the files panel, I'm going to show you one more thing. You can see up here in the upper right it says local view, and this is showing you all of your local files. If you click that drop down, it's like remote server. Oops, sorry, lost it. If you select remote server there, you'll see all the files that you've uploaded to your server. So local and remote will show you that information there. So here I am in my browser, and I'm going to go ahead and go to www.samplesmallbusinesswebsite.com, and there is my website. And you can see my fading banner is working there. And there's all of my content. There's the about page, products, services, and my contact page. So that's all there is to setting up and publishing your website um, when you're ready to do it. Thanks for watching.